Hi everyone, um, I'm here today to talk about a subject that I haven't really spoken about a lot on this channel but um, it is my original fandom, like um, you can probably tell I'm quite the fangirl and um, it all started here. This is where I realised that you can be an insane fan for something and that's fine. <laughs> and um, that is obviously Robot Wars. Yes, we are talking about Robot Wars. This week it got announced that the BBC are going to bring it back for six episodes. Um, you know, if, if they make more, that would be even better. Um, but I just, I have some concerns. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about how obsessed I am with Robot Wars still to this day in adult life. As you can see, I still, I have a Robot Wars t-shirt. This is my favourite house robot, Dead Metal or uh, as uh, he got known in the series, if you've watched it, he gets called Naughty Dead Metal a lot. He was very naughty and that's apparently why I liked him the best. And I do still find it funny that he was the naughty house robot. Um, for those of you who are American, Robot Wars is like Battle Bots. I think that's the American one. Um, I've seen a couple of episodes and um, it just didn't have the same magic if you ask me but I feel that's because of the presenting team that the English one had uh, we'll go into that in a second and um, uh, like the contestants were very British and um, I think I just relate to them more as a child as well and as an adult um, so yes what makes Robert Wall so magical? Not Jeremy Clarkson, <laughs> like that series, that first series with Jeremy Clarkson upsets me a little um, and I, I, I have to just live with the fact that it exists and I just have to be like well I, I'm watching it for Philippa and for Jonathan and you know we'll just pretend that Jeremy isn't in this one. Jeremy Clarkson was horrible and I hate him and I hate him anyways, he's a horrible human being but um, he just didn't care about Robot Wars and I know what you're going to say, Vicky, Craig Charles was off his face for the entire time. I don't care, he enjoyed himself. I love Craig Charles, I love Philippa Forrester, I love Jonathan Pierce. Next issue is, we don't want no Julia Reeds coming back, right? My dream job as a child and to this day is to be like Philippa Forrester and be the backstage presenter of Robot Wars. That is genuinely, if I could pick any job ever, I would have that. I have the knowledge. I care about the show. I will wear a pair of leather trousers and a Robot Wars t-shirt every day. I'd do anyway. Like I have many similar items to what was worn on Robot Wars. <laughs> and I just... I adore it, I genuinely have passion and I think that job will be something I would excel in. I feel like I can talk to people and that um, I wouldn't pronounce things wrong. Julia, I'm looking at you and your Shrimex. Oh, the rage that fills me when Julia Reed says the word Shrimex. It's a fucking Shrimex. I don't care. Oh, it just upsets me. But I watched it anyway. Jane Middlemas, you were alright. But you, Philippa Forrester was the girl. She is the Robot Wars female presenter. I love her. She was just so perfect and so lovely and I feel like I could follow in Philippa's footsteps. Genuinely believe this. Um, I'm just, I'm so excited it's coming back but I'm so scared because um, there is rumours that Craig Charles is going to present it again but I really, really, out of all the team, I want Jonathan Pierce to be the commentator again. If he's not, I, I I don't know how I feel about the new Robot Wars. He just, he was so excited about everything and he gave the robots like personalities and then those personalities became the robots actual personalities. Everyone just was like, well, Jonathan said that was their personality, that's it. Like the naughty dead metal thing, he was the naughty one. Drunken shunt, he was always drunk. <laughs> like, just... Right, the fact that Matilda was the darling of the house robots, Sir Killalot was the noble knight, like, I know that they're not the, like, most unique personalities to give these robots, but we took them because that's what Jonathan did, he just gave them life. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just really, I am an absolutely crazed fan of this show and I just want it to be as perfect as it was back in the day. 
Now you may be thinking, Vicky, as a child, you probably thought it was perfect when it was very flawed. I have rewatched every episode not that long ago. Um, there is a fantastic channel called BBC Robot Wars UK on here on YouTube, and I have watched so many reruns through that that YouTube channel. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for giving us my Robot Wars. Um, I'm just I'm just obsessed. I really am. Like I have books about it. I went to see it as a child and I still have my souvenir program. Um like I used to collect all the like you got like these little figures that were only like this big of like the robots and they came in like little good like mystery bag packets. I used to collect them, I had the pencil case. I, if it had robot oars on it, I wanted it or had it. I I'm just I'm devastated that as a child I never got a remote control house robot because they became a thing but I just they were quite expensive if I remember correctly and my uh, parents weren't willing to pay so much money for basically a remote control car <laughs> if I remember correctly I don't blame them really when I think about it but um, I really wanted a remote control dead metal <laughs> I would have taken any house robot really but dead metal is something I really wanted obviously um, yeah I just I just want to get it out there that I love robot wars and that uh, BBC, if you're looking for someone, your backstage presenter is here. I was born for that job. <laughs> like, I genuinely believe that I would be good at it and I'll be cheap. Like, I've already got the uniform. Don't you worry about that. I've already got the uniform. Um, getting to Edinburgh may be difficult, but you know, if you pay for my travel, hey, hey, my hotel while we, while we film, and then like minimum wage, I'd do it. I would do it for that price. Just saying. Um, I'd, and I'd just love it if all the like, this is going to sound sad, but I genuinely say the Robot Wars royalty came back and I am meaning like George Francis and Chaos 2 or maybe a new Chaos, the Rose family and Hypnodisc, yes, bring those guys back, uh, the Paddyers as I like to call them and Razor. Now these guys have been on the American show, um, I watched one episode but uh, they didn't do very well uh, because they, they should have known Razor is the only robot that they are ever going to have any success with. <laughs> but seriously though, like, um, after the fight that Razor and Pussycat had, if you watch till the very end of that episode, there is a beautiful Paddy in there. The most hypocritical Paddy of Robot Wars history, and it's one of my favourite moments. So, uh, thanks for that one, guys. But I want you to come back. <laughs> um, I'd love it if, um... Panic Attack came back. Panic Attack is actually my favourite robot of all time. I think the reason why I like um, Panic Attack so much and that I'd liked Panic Attack so much as a child as well is they were the underdogs and no one thought they were going to win it because they were just a charity robot and then they just took the series by storm. And the dri Kim's driving, he's like the one of the best roboteers in Robot Wars history and I really admire him for that. Yes, I know the names of these people. <laughs> um, I'd love it if the Big Brother team came back, if the Plunderbird team came back, the Sir Crumlot team came back, the Deator team came back. Like, I just want all the, like, literally, Robot Wars royalty. I want you to come back onto the show. Yes, we want some newcomers, because, you know, we had a lot of surprises from new robots um, that impressed us throughout the years, but it just won't be the same if we don't have some of the legends returning. And I hope this happens. I hope you haven't all given up your engineering passions. I, I really wish I was good at engineering so I could make a robot to go on robot walls. <laughs> like, I always used to beg my dad as a kid and um, he's not really good at that kind of thing either. Like, he, he he's like basic DIY guy anymore. No. <laughs> Um, so, but my dad did take me to see it, so you know, I got, I got something out of my begging, I got some sort of Robot Wars experience, which was wonderful. Um, yeah, and, and just wanted to, I just want, I just want the internet to know how excited I am for this, and um, how much, like, Robot Wars means to me, it is my childhood, like, literally, from them, I can remember it getting really big, and that was like, yes, like, this is the greatest thing ever, um, about, Series 3 would have been, well, the third walls, um, and then the fourth walls so were like the two big series. It's just such a shame that Philippa was pregnant for the fourth walls. Uh, <laughs> literally the only bad thing about the fourth walls, Julia Reed. 
Um, but yeah, I used to love that and I used to love the techno games as well, if you remember, they were on like uh, the summertime, I think it was, because they were like the Olympics for robots. Um, and the, they used to be like The Simpsons and those kind of shows, like Robot Wars, techno games, Top of the Pops, Buffy, used to all be like in a massive run and it, and that used to be like my favourite like thing to do, just sit and watch that massive run of television. Um, back, back in the day, back when I was a kid, you know, I like it was like the only time I wouldn't go out and play with my friends was when that, that TV run was on. <laughs> I just, and Robot Wars was just life. Like, I still rewatch it now, and I, I'm still a massive fan, and people, like, will talk about things, and then it'll remind me of Robot Wars, and I'll bring Robot Wars up, and they'll be like, wow, you know a lot about Robot Wars, and I'm like, yeah, I do. Like, it, it's... It's got to the point where I can watch quite a lot of episodes and tell you who's won just by them showing the initial who's going to compete in the show. I already know who's won that episode. Like, <laughs> it's quite bad. Uh, <laughs> I say bad, I mean it's good. I think it's good, but... Yeah, my original fandom, the reason why I'm such a fangirl to this day for anything is Robot Wars, I would say. I mean, like... Music wise, I was well on that five bandwagon. I loved them and I had so many five things as well. But, like, Robot Wars, the passion is a lot stronger than the five. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love five to this day as well. Um, as you know from my big reunion video. But, um, Robot Wars is just, it's got such a place in my heart. It's, other than True Blood, it's my favourite TV show of all time. It even beats Red Dwarf, which also has Craig Charles in. That's probably my third favourite TV show of all time. Which um, is another show, actually, that I used to watch when I was a lot younger. I remember my dad watching it and me, like, just, like, sitting there thinking, what's this? I really enjoy it. And then as an adult, I, I obviously got into it properly. But Robot Wars, I was there from the beginning. I followed it. I loved it. I lived it. <laughs> and um, if you're going to bring it back, BBC, please do it right. Please don't have some, like... I don't know, some Jeremy Clarkson on it. Don't have him. Don't have a Julia Reed. Please have someone who cares. Because Julia Reed did not care. I'd, I don't care what people say. I didn't like her. She just, she didn't have the heart in her. And she couldn't pronounce Shreema. <laughs> and she had no idea about anything. She didn't know who most of the people were she was interviewing. She didn't know who most of the Robot Wars royalty were. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop raging. And um, Jeremy Clarkson just didn't care about anyone. He literally hated everyone, and I think he just mocked every single person who went on that show. No one do you only had it for one series. And Jonathan Pierce, surely right? He's got to be available. He 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 only competes like football. No one cares about football. <laughs> Game of Robot Wars again, please. And um, if Philip is not willing to take up the job, I'm here. And I know, I know all there is to know. Um, oh, and judges, like, please, if you're going to have judges, please only stick to, like, the three, or maybe four, and um, have, like, the pres the professors and stuff, like, you had before, like, Noel Sharkey, have, like, that lineup kind of thing, or me. <laughs> I know how to judge on style, control, damage, and aggression, thank you. I know who should have won these fights. I mean, I've, I've, I've judged many a fight myself just by watching the show. <laughs> oh, I wish I was good at making robots. But yeah, I just... I just want the world to know that if there's someone out there who is dedicated to Robot Wars, it is me. And I'm so happy it's coming back. And I'm going to be judging it in a good way and a bad way. I'm probably letting you guys know when it comes out if it comes out, because, you know, they have said it, they're going to do it, but they haven't actually started anything yet. <sighs> I just needed to talk about it and just get my feelings out. And I'm, just, I'm so excited, but also very scared. And I think that's why this video is all over the place, because I don't know where to put my emotions on the fact that Robo Wars is coming back. Uh, thank God it's on the BBC as well, it's on BBC 2 again I think, because it moved to Channel 5 and that was where Robot Wars died a very slow and painful death. Um, we all know that with the extreme, like extreme 2, especially the second extreme, eh, Robot Wars was just gone, it just fizzled out. 
I don't know I've still seen every episode but um yeah <laughs> let's not do stupid over the top crazy like plot lines like it, it it got to like wrestling like it was like they did the legitimate wrestling plot lines where they were like this robot's got beef with this robot and it just didn't quite work what I liked about the show was these guys have worked their lives to make this robot. And these guys have worked to make this robot. Let's see who did well. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's give the house robots personality and let's give the competitive robots a bit of personality through Jonathan. But let's not fully start grudge matching. Like, all the like judgments and things are for the pits with Philippa, Arnie. <laughs> let's face it, that's never gonna happen. But I can dream. <laughs> I can dream and hope and pray that someone out there believes that I would be good for the job. You know, I'm alright looking, I'd be alright for a face, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep a straight face for that bit. But yeah, I just it's it's just something that's so dear to my heart and I just want it to be right. And I just I just hope that they're not taking the lad bible's word for why Robert Walsh should come back because they literally just seem to be like yeah it was about fighting be back because <laughs> the lad bible did that um what's it called petition that online petition to bring Robert Walsh back which I did sign and I think I put on it and make me your presenter <laughs> um yeah I want them to bring it back but I don't want them to just I don't want them to ruin it. I just want it to come back with that same perfect formula. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm getting awkward, so I'm gonna go. But I hope you understand how I feel, and I hope you enjoyed my little fan girl like ranting and raving about Robot Wars. Thank you for watching. Bye.